Everybody enjoy lunch? Good. I see nods. That's good. Pizza. Pizza's happy. Um, all right, so I have the Spark Talk before I introduce my buddy Patrick. And um, if you haven't already started following Jennifer Gonzalez and the Cult of Pedagogy, I highly recommend. Um, this is someone that you get on Twitter or Facebook. Um, she posted something, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. Um, it was all the tech tools that you should try in 2019. And I have now been obsessed with one of the tools that she posted on here, and I thought, I'm going to use this as a spark because I think it's what we've tried to do. We, our students in Holland, I'm from Holland Central Schools, I'm the educational innovator there, and my name is Michelle Krieger. <laughs> I'm sorry, I should have done that first. <laughs> um, so uh, our uh, high school and middle school have half an hour lunches, but we have 40 minute periods, so then we have this thing, 10 minute period. Um, and we're always looking for like different brain breaks and different things like that. So. Um, I think this is going to be what I'm going to introduce to the kids next. Um, it's called GeoGuessr. Anybody out there a GeoGuessr? Oh my god. <laughs> Obsessed. You just, was it because of my post? No. Oh. Yeah, sure. Okay, thank you. I love when people like my posts on Twitter. At Holland Tech Girl. That's me. So you can follow me. Um, so anyways, GeoGuessr, let me just go ahead and show you what GeoGuessr does. Okay, so basically it uses Google Earth and it just drops you anywhere, any street, any location in the world. Um, you, if you play challenger mode, you have to pay for it, right? Don't pay for it. You can just play single player. Um, and so like you press single player and boom, there you are. And you have to figure out where you are. And then um, you make a guess by just scrolling where you think you are, right? So let's say I think I'm in Libya. What, what? How did you know that? Okay, that's, okay, so anyways, Mike is of course gonna hijack my spark talk. <laughs> You're not better than me. Um, <laughs> but he is. <laughs> okay, so, so the funny thing is that uh, yesterday I was playing this and without even thinking, I was 20 minutes into this hard and I got two of my locations. The first one was obviously somewhere in Africa and yes, I could tell by the trees. But what you'll notice, like what kids will end up doing is just start using some of their internet skills. Um, they'll start looking at maybe if you're dropped in the city, oops, there they are again, sorry. Um, if you're dropped in a city like I was yesterday, the first time I had been dropped in a city, other times I'm just like, like Mike you know, said, oh, you gotta look at trees, you gotta look at the animals there. You gotta... So you have to use all the clues around you, but you end up using like, things like Google Translator and uh, Google Images and um, Google Copy, I don't know. There's, there's a ton of things that you end up using as tools to try to figure out where you are. So basically, they drop you, you can, um, let me go back. Oh, thanks. Somebody just liked me on Twitter. <laughs> okay. Let me go back to where I was. So, oh, oh, yep, resume my game. So, really, by that tree, you can tell that you're in, where did you say? Okay, I thought you were, but anyways, it's, it's a 360, right? So you can, oh, ooh, see? So basically, you're just going to rotate around. You're going to use the arrows to help you go um, around and search and et cetera. So it's really, it's really kind of fun. So anyways, um, I don't know. That, oh, for Christ's sakes. Okay. There we go. Um, so anyways, you can make a guess. Well, um, now I changed my mind because that kind of looked like a castle, right? I don't know. You think Spain? All right. Um, I, I don't have my glasses on. Hang on. There we go. So I drop a pin, and like you can move it, it doesn't, okay, and make a guess. So basically what it'll do is give you points for how close you are. So it's calculating it. Um, what? I don't do that. Okay, so, oh, I was, I was off a little bit, it was Germany. Um, but your guess was uh, 1,782 kilometers away, so you do get points for even being as far away as I was. Highly addictive, super fun, great, easy thing to do for a brain break. Um, I've enjoyed it. So yesterday, I found that I was in Sao Paulo because they had the soccer club logo 
um, on one of the billboards that was in the city. So I didn't know what it was, so I just Googled it, and then I translated that site, and I found out it was in Sao Paulo, and then my computer went down, so I didn't even get to make my guess. But I'm over it, kind of not, because I just told you the story. But um, I'm going to go ahead, let you play with that, but please don't during Patrick's talk. Um, and I'm going to start to introduce Patrick. <laughs> 